I'm Judith Jones, food and travel editor of the Gourmet Travelista, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the king of all beefs. That's right, it is the filet mignon. It's one stick of butter which we've melted. We have two minced shallots. We have the yolks of three eggs. We have three tablespoons of fresh tarragon leaves. We have a quarter cup of dry white wine. We have a quarter cup of champagne vinegar, black pepper and salt to taste, an assortment of dried herbs including sage, rosemary and thyme and of course we've got some olive oil to cook with there too. And last but not least of course we have a three pound uh, cut of beef tenderloin. Now usually if you order a filet mignon in a restaurant you might see kind of a small round piece. Well this is where it's come from. This is the whole piece entirely and that's what we'll be cooking. So let's get our large skillet to a medium high heat and we'll get that nice and hot. We have also preheated our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So first things first, we just want to cover our beef tenderloin with some oil right here. And we'll just spread it all over with our hands. Be nice and generous with that. We'll get it all covered up. Okay, then let's get our salt and pepper and we're gonna just season that all over on all sides with it there, like so. And let's get our black pepper and our other herbs on there too. So we'll just sprinkle all of that on there. So that's getting hot, so we'll put a little bit of oil in there. So, and we're gonna sear our tenderloin on all sides. So we'll place it in there. What you can do is you can get your tongs and fork and you can just turn it all over on all sides and we just want to get it nice and seared. Great. So the idea is not to cook our filet mignon, it's just to be able to sear it and get a nice brown color on all sides. So we've seared it on all sides as you can see and now it's time to transfer it to the oven. So we're going to take our skillet, put it in the oven for about 15 to 17 minutes and that is, that'll give us a nice medium rare. If you want it a medium, put it in again for an extra three minutes. So we'll put that in the oven and we'll come back. So as we have the filet mignon in our oven, we're gonna make up our Bernays sauce. So first of all, we're gonna put in our wine and champagne vinegar. And we're gonna add all our shallots to the pan, to a small saucepan. Go. And we're also going to add in half of our fresh tarragon leaves. These are wonderful, wonderful herb. Give that a little stir. And we're going to let that simmer and reduce to half. So now that our Bernays reduction is done, we're going to get our blender and we're going to add our three egg yolks. Get all that in. And then we're also gonna add our Bernays reduction to that. And we're gonna blend that on a low speed. So once that's all combined together, we're just gonna lift our lid here. We are gonna pour in a third of our melted butter on a medium speed. So once that mixture is emulsified, we're gonna add in the remaining butter in a slow stream on high. Okay, and then last but not least, we'll add in our remaining tarragon and salt and pepper to taste. There we go, add a pinch of each. And we're gonna give that a good pulse. Okay, so that should be all blended together nicely. And we're gonna transfer it to a dish and keep it in a nice warm spot. 
So there it is, we have this lovely creamy bernet sauce which is going to pair really great with our filet mignon. So make sure to keep that now in a nice warm, in a nice warm spot, uh, perhaps by the stove. You can cover it up and keep it there until it's ready to serve. So we've taken our filet mignon out of the oven and it just looks and smells gorgeous. So we're going to transfer that now onto our cutting board and we're going to tent that with foil and let it rest for 10 minutes before we slice it up and serve it with our beautiful Bernays sauce that we just made and it's going to be great. That's how you make your finest filet mignon. Thanks for watching today everyone and make sure to subscribe to our website to watch plenty of other fantastic videos and if you have any email requests you can email requests at mahalo.com and we'll be sure to answer any questions or queries you might have.